Okay, I had this little project that I wrote to practice authorization code flow with Google Plus API. This was some time ago. I wanted to refactor this code and change this code to make it work with LinkedIn API. So I went and made some changes. Basically, I changed the entire code wherever it was necessary whether it was URLs that needed to be changed, whether it was class names. I changed everything like this. This is plus and I changed the solution name to LinkedIn. I changed the project name as well to LinkedIn. And then I went and changed all these namespaces. You get the idea. Now I will not change all of this in front of you and bore you. I will forward this part but there's something I'm trying to get at which I want to explain. Now, the important bit is I changed the namespaces of all these controllers. There is only one home controller I have. I don't have any areas in my MVC project. This is all I have as the home controller. My route definition is very simple. I don't have any special routes declared. Yes, one thing you want to make sure that's changed is you've changed this bit. ASP.NET will not catch you at this. If you compile this now, it'll build perfectly fine. It will not catch you at this and that is go to the markup. Even though you've changed the namespace over here for this class MVC application, you need to change it in the markup as well. That doesn't get changed. Okay, so change this as well. It will not catch it until runtime. So the compiler doesn't catch this. It doesn't catch anything in the views or in the XML code behinds. And let me go and change the project assembly name as well from plus to LinkedIn.dll and any other default names any and the default namespace for any other artifact that I create I'll change that to LinkedIn as well now let me clean the solution and let me rebuild the project now this is rebuilt if I execute it now everything should work right let's give it a try Nope. That's exactly what I want to get at. You will sometimes come across this error that says, I found multiple home controllers. Which one did you want? And it says, I found two instances, plus.controllers.homeController and LinkedIn. Now, I did it in front of you and I checked everywhere. There is no way that the home controller is called plus.controllers.homeController. Why this happens is, if this happens to you, first, okay, check any areas that you may have in your application. If an area in your application has, also has a home controller under a different namespace, then you just want to go to the route config. You might want to use this overload that has namespaces uh, and provide that namespace string array over here as well as for your areas but this application doesn't have any areas so where the hell what's the, what the hell is wrong and the answer is and you will see the old dll's that i built earlier when the application was called plus are still there and they have this dll plus.dll also has a home controller under the namespace plus.controllers. So MVC, obviously, ASP.NET doesn't know which of these is not necessary. It's going to load all of them in the app domain inside your process, worker process. And it this problem, obviously, you've guessed it by common sense. It's not just when you name or rename a solution in a project. It can occur anytime. If you've got previous DLLs, if you have any other DLL that you don't need, in this folder just chuck it out that's a possible cause for this error so always check this folder it's very likely that you've got some other dll that asp.net has loaded that also has a controller by that same name maybe in a different namespace 
that was the point of this video. Now, if I if I remove these three and I run it, the application now, the error should go away. And it does. Yay! Okay, bye bye. Oh. Oh. बंदे लो गमायो गमावत गमावत गमा दिया जद हीरो रे यो एक आयो हीरा रो पार खू जद रोयो माथो टेक रोयो माथो टेक एड़ा में घणई गमाया साद कहे सगराम हाथ में हीरा आया